Hello everybody and welcome back to the Galactic Armory. Today I've got a 3D printer filament review for you guys. The folks at Printbed reached out to me and sent me some filament to test out on a print and see what I thought about it. And if you guys didn't know, I've been on a big Halo kick lately. I recently added some Halo files to my website. So today we're gonna be test printing the Master Chief helmet from Halo Infinite. In this print bed filament, we're gonna see how it goes and I'll give some quick thoughts about this filament and if you guys should buy some. So we've got three different colors to work with and just as well because the Master Chief helmet is split into three main parts. So we're gonna try and do each part with a different color. Now right out of the box, the first thing that I noticed is that this spool is actually made out of cardboard. I had never seen a cardboard spool before, but now that I did some research, I saw some other printer companies have switched over from plastic spools to cardboard spools and I think it's great. Cardboard's obviously a much more recyclable material and definitely more environmentally friendly. It took a little bit to get used to, I'll be honest, but I didn't have any kind of performance problems with the cardboard. The spool also has some nice indicators as to how much filament is left on the roll, which is handy for estimating if you need to replace the roll or not. So you just saw me load some black filament. This is going to print the front part of the helmet, the face part. Here I'm loading in some white. This is gonna do the top piece and the little uh, visor hood. And finally, I've got some gray for the back side. Starting out, printing was going great. Here's the first layer of the white, the black doing excellent, but of course everything can't go well. And the gray actually had the Bowden tube fitting break off and I left it overnight. And this is what I came to find, not the fault of the filament at all. This piece just breaks sometimes and you just kind of got to deal with it and hope that you catch it early. So unfortunately, I was not able to recoil all of this filament. So we had to restart the print after we replaced that Bowden tube fitting. Now this unfortunately meant that we weren't able to complete the rest of the back piece with the filament provided, but it also means that we can load in some of the filament that I'd normally use and compare it side by side on the same printer and on the same piece. So I loaded in some white PLA from my usual supplier and finished out the print. Luckily, all of the other pieces finished beautifully. The top had a little bit of support fall down, but again, that's my fault for the support placement, not an indication of the quality of the filament. So let's get these pieces off and clean them. These pieces were relatively easy to clean, not a lot of supports for any of the pieces, and the filament held up well. When I compared the back piece, the gray area, compared to the white area, I couldn't even tell a difference, and you wouldn't be able to tell that they were completely different brands. So I'd say that the quality of this filament definitely met my expectations, and even rivals my current filament supplier. Now let's talk about price. Right now each roll of PLA is $20, which is pretty standard. You'll find that kind of price range on a lot of different sources, so nothing remarkable there. Printbed does advertise that their filament is made and shipped from the USA, which is great if you're in the USA like me. I'd say right now their competitive advantage is their shipping prices. They offer a flat $5 shipping rate right now, so you could order like 100 rolls of filament and shipping would only be $5. That's something I wish my current supplier did, because shipping is always a good chunk of change, especially in large quantities. I also really appreciate the cardboard feature of the roll like we talked about earlier. Now I do recycle all my leftover plastic rolls, but plastic will never be as recyclable as cardboard is. So that's a nice feature and I hope my current filament supplier considers making the change as well. It'd be nice to see more filament makers switch over to this more sustainable method. Overall, I'm very pleased with this filament. I probably won't change from my current filament supplier since I get a big discount, but I can definitely say that I recommend this company, especially if you're trying to shop local in the US and a brand that uses sustainable methods. So thank you all for watching. Links to the products can be found in the description. We're gonna be working a lot more with this Halo Infinite Master Chief helmet, so look forward to that in the future. Till then, I'll see y'all next time.